Hi everybody, it's Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art and welcome to Choo Choo Tuesday with Friends. Um, this includes um, the Morning Pour Dash Art by Holly, myself, Joanne Ralston Art, Lori Houston Art, and Nate Bright Art. So, look down in the description box to see who's participating today and make sure you check everybody's channel out and make sure you show some love and hit that thumbs up button. We all wanna see a thumbs up button. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to all of us. We'd all be pleased. Um, today, what I'm doing is I want to play with metallics. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. So I'm finally going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer a cup with metallics and pour. I wanted to do a basic pour with metallics. And what I have here, um, make sure I get them right. This is Amsterdam Copper. This is Amsterdam Graphite. This is Amsterdam Gold. No, I'm sorry, Bronze. Amsterdam Bronze. This is Amsterdam Silver. And this is Pebio Iridescent Gold. I wanted Sparkle. And then I just have a um, flow extender of my white thinned down. Um, if I do decide to put any white in there, I'm going to use the Arteza Pearl White. But I'm not sure that I really need it. So we're going to wait and see how we, the cup starts layering. And that'll tell us if we need it. I think I've got enough contrasting colors in the metallics that we won't need it. So, well, let's get started. Um, as you know, when you're pouring, what you pour in first comes out last. So, I think I'm going to start with a little gold. And let me spread these out so you can see me pour. Let me get them out of the way so I don't knock them over. That'd be my, my luck. I always like a little gold to come out last because it goes in the center, but I don't like a whole lot. So we're gonna start with that. And then let's go with um, copper. And what I have here is a 16 by 24 gallery wrap level two um, canvas. It's been taped, sprayed. This is the bronze and then push pins put in. So it's all ready. Um, if I understand correctly, and anybody can correct me if I'm wrong, um, gallery wrap level twos are the thin, and the gallery wrap level three are the thick. So, that's what we've got. All right, this is the graphite. And then we'll start over with gold. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to put my spinner down. I like to, rather than moving my arm, I like to move the spinner. So I'm going to do a straight pour, but I'm going to spin my canvas 
as I pour. Just very slowly. Oh, I'm anxious to see how this turns out. If I can just stay in the center. I've always been fascinated with metallics. I love metallics. I like the shimmer and the shine that they put off, especially the golds, as you know, that's one of my favorite things to put in a painting. And so I thought, you know, what's this gonna turn out to be with all metallics in it? So I thought, let's just do it. Oh, look at that gold coming out at the end. I like that. Here we go, dismount. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put me on some flow extender. And the reason for flow extender is so your paint won't roll over itself and take away your design that you're creating. I'm gonna wreck it a lot. this gold a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's tilt this baby out. We're going to start going that way because of where I poured it. And there she goes. Now because of time limitations, on two, 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 two Tuesdays. Okay, composition-wise, I'm liking it. Let's spin it. I don't want the composition, I don't want to tilt anymore because I like it right where it is, but I need to make sure that all the paint is off. So, I'm going to spin it. Let me get my guard up. Because I know it's going to go everywhere. And let's. Here we go. Get everything to cooperate. Get 
get any excess paint off this way. I'll make sure I get my edges covered and my corners covered. I'm looking at the edges and they're kind of light colored because of the white. And I kind of like some more of the metallic to go over the side. Yeah, I did have a lot of paint because there goes the gold over the side. There's a lot in the center. I thought there was. And that did it. That took care of those white sides. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well... There she is, all metallic, and stay tuned for dry results. Bye-bye. Here we are at dry results. Tell me what you think. Boy, is it gold and glistening. And the colors, they show up. The only thing I wish I'd done different is maybe put some white and black in it to give it some more definition and depth. But she turned out beautifully. And you can see all the lines. And right here you can see all the colors. There's the silver, the graphite, the copper, the bronze, the gold. It's all in there. It is shiny. It is shiny, shiny. But there she is. She's still drying. That's a wet spot. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you again. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.